How is good everyone? Time with my ECCC 2019 Funko Pop haul video. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, actually, before we get into the ECCC pickups, I actually went to Box Lunch last week to spend some of my Box Lunch money. And of course, I ended up spending both the ones I did have and picked up a few things. So, of course, one of the things I picked up last week at Box Lunch was the brand new Woody with RC uh, Funko Pop ride. Now, this is absolutely awesome. Of course, this is from the infamous scene where Woody has to get back into the moving truck, so he has to chase it down. And um, yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome, awesome Funko Pop ride. Really happy to have this one, and I definitely want to pick this one up, especially with the you know Pizza Planet truck. This definitely uh, commemorates it very well. And if you guys know me, you know I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. So of course I was, look I was looking at their Game of Thrones section, and I saw that they finally got these in. So I decided to spend the remaining of my box lunch money, of course, on the brand new Game of Thrones five star figures from Funko. Uh, these are just extremely, extremely cute. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you guys a closer look at them. And of course, the first one we have here is the Jon Snow one. Here is the box itself. It's pretty much the exact same on all of them. Of course, we have the uh, four of the five star uh, figures right there. There's the top. There is the bottom. And of course, once you open it up. You do have the figure itself, Jon Snow, as well as Ghost. Of course, you have a sword with those as well. There's a nice little backdrop in the background. I'm not sure if you can make it out on the camera, but it's uh, it's very, very cute, and it's very, uh, it's very cool. And, of course, here's the Daenerys Targaryen one. You open it up. Of course, it is her and Drogon right there. They look very nice. She looks absolutely adorable, might I add. I think this character definitely looks the cutest out of all of them. But, yeah, that is the Daenerys Targaryen one. And, of course, you have the Tyrion Lannister one. Of course, when you open him up... You have him right there as well as his cup of wine. So that's all you get the Tyrion one. Then of course, last but not least, you have the Night King. And once you open it up, you do see the Night King. And of course, Icy Viserion right there. Uh, the Night King is actually like terrifyingly adorable. That's like, that's like the Grinch. When the Grinch was a kid in the movie. That's pretty much what he reminds me of what it looks like. But yeah, of course, that is the Night King. And those are the Game of Thrones five-star figures. So basically, I woke up. I got to the mall probably about four minutes before they opened. The mall I went to conveniently had the two stores I wanted the pops from. Which, of course, being Hot Topic as well as Box Lunch. So they right next to each other. So it was very convenient for me. Uh, I brought a friend along because he actually wanted the same exact pops I wanted. So I was like, no, I'll go to this store. I'll get the pops here. And then you go to the other store and get the pops there. Uh, so it worked out. We were able to both get in, into our own minds. But of course, the Hot Topic line was just mildly long by the time we had to got there even though it was like 40 minutes left before it opened box lunch only had two people in line no one even lined up for box lunch till like the last like five minutes honestly that's when people started showing up for box lunch but hot topics line was just massively long and i was like you know what the chances honestly of us getting the one pop we wanted for hot, hot topic the most was very very slim because of course hot topic has five per style which is absolutely ridiculous but uh went in there and somehow they still had the one big one we both wanted and of course, before we get to that one, the other one we wanted as well, and of course I picked up, was the Rick and Morty Jaguar pop right here. As you guys see right there, Jaguar, of course, is from the Pickle Rick episode. He, of course, he was the guy that was hired to kill Pickle Rick and end up helping him towards the end of the episode, of course, obviously. But uh, this is a nice exclusive right here. Um, you know, I'm not, I like that they're doing these minor characters now for the exclusives because, you know, just them doing uh, different variations of Rick and Morty, like the Alien Rick and Cowboy Rick and Morty uh, for the con exclusive to me is kind of lame and kind of just lazy. But uh, this pop definitely has some nice weight to it. It's definitely a nice uh, mold and scope with, you know, his hands doing the knuckle crutches and him being chains of course whatnot so this is definitely an act exclusive uh the box is pretty good for the most part for some reason uh every like hot topic at this one i go to the boxes are somehow like just weird uh and i honestly didn't check the boxes i just just grabbed them because i wasn't sure how long they'd be there for so I just you know everyone's just a free-for-all of course so end up picking up a jaguar and of course the big one from hot topic that i was referring to that i didn't think i'd have a chance at getting once i saw the uh, amount of people in line ready but of course it was Tarunga right here all in his glory already in a protector because he just had to go right into one uh, the moment i just saw him i just grabbed it i didn't even check the box or anything the box is pretty good there is some weird stuff on it but like i don't know if you guys make it out but like there's like a markings like on the top corner right there uh, it also has a little bit of it in the bottom right there but i mean the box itself is fine for the most part but i was very very shocked and apparently hot topics were just flooded with these because these were like all over the store after uh, obviously i checked out i started noticing there was a lot more but um yeah like what you know what happened with great vegeta he saw that quickly uh and there was i think less people at new york comic con getting him than there was for people of mine getting this guy so the fact that great vegeta saw that as quick as he did i figured there's no way i was getting my hands on him because i was probably like 25 30 people deep in the line already so i just didn't think i had a chance in hell to get him but apparently uh hot topics were definitely stocked and definitely had a lot for uh to sell for these so i was very happy they got a good amount this is absolutely awesome love this pop uh definitely goes great with the shenron pop so 
I'm very, very happy to have Pronger. Just absolutely love it. Even the Dragon Balls he's sitting on. Uh, just everything about this definitely was a great exclusive and definitely was one of the uh, top prices I want to get from ECCC. Then of course at Box Lunch, I only had one pop and they only had one exclusive from what I know. Uh, and of course the exclusive at Box Lunch was the Arya Stark pop in the Assassin gear. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. This is a great exclusive if you ask me. She's like dressed to a T from her se uh, season seven attire. Uh, she's spot on even with the dagger, uh, everything. She just looks, she looks great. And uh, definitely, this is, she was definitely number one uh, pop I wanted from ECCC just from my Game of Thrones collection. And apparently box lunches were flooded with these because uh, later on yesterday I went to one of the other malls and uh, half of their pop wall was her. So apparently she didn't sell very well at their store or they just were just flooded with stock with her. But uh, this is definitely my number one I wanted just for my Game of Thrones collection. But I do think out of this haul, the Paranga definitely was the best pop. But again, uh, this is the Arya Stark Assassin pop from Box Lunch. And that is my haul from ECCC 2019. Not very much. I only got three pops, but to be perfectly honest, you know, I'm a very selective collector and, you know, I don't collect things just to collect. And there really wasn't that many pops from ECCC that I wanted, which is, hey, good on me. That means less money being spent. But I feel like the stuff I got, I was very satisfied with with like i said i had to pick a favorite pronga definitely was the best one if you ask me Arya stark even though she looks absolutely awesome i don't think she tops pronga so uh, i got those two pops as well as the jaguar one and that is my haul from eccc hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please feel free to leave a like below of course the next time i'll see you guys there thank you guys for watching the video